before I met the training, I, uh, I was really bored. I was really bored and I was really tired of my life. Um, I lived in London. I had a good job. I had a lovely family. I had all the things you're supposed to have to have a good life. I had a great social life. I had a lovely partner. Um, but I was really bored and I really didn't like myself very much at all. Um, but not only was I really bored, but I was really resistant to anybody who was going to suggest any changes. So I didn't want to stay the same and I didn't want to change. So it was a little bit of a tricky situation. Um, so yeah, so basically my, my partner at the time, he went to India and uh, did the empowerments. And he came back and <laughs> he was just radically different. I was like, what have they done to you? This is amazing. Oh my God. <laughs> And uh, I was like, I want some of that. What is this? And I went on, uh, I went on YouTube, and I was like, Oh no, that means change. No, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Thanks, <laughs> thanks anyway. Um, anyway, so I actually got made redundant from my job, and um, so I decided to use my redundancy check to travel to India for six months. And I went to Goa, and I did the empowerments. And um, bearing in mind, you know, boredom, resistance to change, all of that was still going on. And I was, I was just questioning everything to myself and just, just putting myself through a really hard time. And, uh, and what's been really great is since the empowerment, so that was seven years ago, just over, is that even when I fall back into, oh, I'm giving myself a hard time about this, I still go back to, well, look at the changes that have happened since. Because the changes that have happened since, bearing in mind I was resistant to change, everything has changed and everything continues to change all the time. And um, I'm fine with that. I'm really, really fine with that. It's just really exciting actually now just to see what's gonna happen. And even when I totally allow that boredom to be as, I, be as it is, then I'm, it's, I'm, you know, I'm actually excited when boredom comes now. Like that's never something that I thought would happen. You know, I was out every single night before the empowerments and now I'm just like, yeah, I'm sitting at home and not doing anything and that feels really good. <laughs> Honestly, I, I, no one is more surprised than I am, apart from that just one single change. Um, but what, also what's happened is just everything's happened in my, everything's changed in my circumstances. I've traveled the world. I never traveled before anywhere. I never really wanted to leave my hometown. Um, I've traveled the world, I've uh, got married, I got divorced, um, I started a business, um, I was, you know, I was working for someone else before I met the empowerments in various different jobs, and they, that was fine, you know, I earned a good wage, but, you know, like I said, I was bored, and so I thought, okay, well, I'll start my own business, and particularly when I left my marriage, then actually it was, I just started just really realizing what I could do to be of benefit, and this training continues to help me see what my natural strengths, gifts, and talents are. Something that I never thought was possible. Um, when I was first asked it in the empowerments, you know, what are your natural strengths, gifts, and talents? I just started crying. I just didn't know what they were. I just didn't know who I was um, or anything like that. And it's just so good to see each time I ask myself that now. You know, now there's quite a long list. <laughs> which is nice and that feels okay you know it's not like oh god the arrogant put more than three things down oops you know <laughs> like it's it's not it's not like that anymore and it's just sort of there's this it's not even pride or arrogance you know because I was always so scared like I just wanted to fit in I just wanted to be liked um I don't want to seem prideful or arrogant and now I well I don't care so much about what other people think which is oh my goodness it was such a waste of time and it was just it's just really, really lovely just to, just to be, just, I don't even know what the words are, just to be really firmly rooted in the confidence that comes with relying on open intelligence and that comes with sub asking for support from the mainstays. I was so worried, like, oh, no, I can do this on my own. Don't you worry about me. Uh, yeah, that doesn't happen. Um, it's just really, it's just really, really good just to have this amazing trainer in my life, to attend trainings whenever I can, and then to take short moments, you know, like I said, my life has changed quite a lot since I did the empowerments. But even if I hadn't had all those major life circumstance changes, I know that I still would have needed the mainstays just as much. Because every time I take a short moment, it, it changes my perspective completely on the situation. So it's like I've been sort of fumbling around in this like dusty 
rubbish corner of a room and I take a short moment, I turn around, it's like this big glittering golden ballroom. It's like, <laughs> this was here all along? Are you kidding? <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, it's, it is amazing. And uh, so yeah, like I said, I now run a business. It's um, fully, full mainstays business, which is amazing. I'm still like, I own a business? It's really lovely, you know, and everybody in the business is relying on the mainstays. So it means that all the usual stuff of working with other people isn't an issue. Um, you know, all the kind of gossip and judgment and criticism, all these kind of old ways, they're just non-existent because we've all got the mainstays in our life. And it's, it's amazing, really, just to see just how much more we get done, first of all, on a very practical level but also just how lovely it is just to show up to work all the time. Now, of course, I could just say that in a conventional way because it's my business, so it's my passion and all that kind of thing, but I wouldn't even have the business if it wasn't for the confidence that learnt, you know, training up in open intelligence has given me, and that continues to increase every day. So, for example, I work in marketing, and it means things like showing up on video, for example, or showing up to conferences and giving public talks, teaching workshops, all the things that I thought, oh, that would be nice to do, but things that I, I never thought that I would be able to actually stand up and do. And now I do it all the time. And I'm just like, stand up there, stand up here on stage, and like, here I am, and this is me, and this is what I have to teach. And just to have the confidence to do that is absolutely amazing to me. It's such a radical change. It's just, it's just kind of strange just to me just to reflect even every day, you know, I could even just sit here and just talk about the changes that have happened since I've been here at the Spring Gathering and the insights that I've had here because it's absolutely magical. And, you know, I can have all the expectations in the world, but if they're not, if they're not my lived experience, then what's the point?